Yeah, so West of Tulsa, great name, great concept. Uh, for anybody who gets a chance to come through here and, and look at the building and what's here, um, we'll clean it up before you get well, here. We, I think, we've got well, a mess of it lately. To me, that's the whole premise of this of this show is uh, we're continuing on the legacy of the museum that never was. You mm -hmm. know, it's an homage to what Richard and now Elaine started. And uh, I guess this is the next leg of it. It may never be open to the public ever again, um, but we can, you know, carry it on through this show, I believe, you know, and, and the, the mantra behind it, you know, it was like that's Richard was actually cap capturing stories, mm -hmm. not just stuff. Right. And I'm sure if he was still around, you could walk around here and probably the electric razor or the typewriter. I'm sure he has a story for every single yep. one of those. Yeah. He certainly you would know? have. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So I think it was a great way to have an homage to him, his legacy, and the legacy of this place, the West of Tulsa. So to me, and I think you guys would all agree, I know Helm did at the very beginning was this was a great name for what we we're going to do, you know. Yeah. Definitely. So. And we've actually got some video of Richard maybe, what, four or five years before he died talking about the cars. And that, that he had stored forever. One, the oldest one's a 1944 Ford Opera Coupe. And, and then he's a 49 Ford convertible that he drove around L.A. So we have video uh, of him talking. We'll include some of that in future episodes.